I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Bad weather in the southeast has now forced airlines to scrap more than 4,000 flights today, and it's created a huge mess at airports. WANF-TV's Madeline Montgomery's in Atlanta. A look of defeat for many as flight after flight gets canceled at the world's busiest airport. I've never seen this before. We checked before we even like got here, and it was saying it was fine, it was fine, and then it's not until we got in line that it was canceled. We're supposed to be flying out. I heard there are storms in Arkansas, so who knows? The total number includes delays. Meantime, heat's causing issues for millions across the South. Lieutenant Bank Nemo's with the Kingston Fire Department in North Carolina. Drink as much water as you can. That's, that's really uh, very important. And we encourage the uh, community to check on the elderly. The U.S. is sending more military aid to Ukraine as Russia ramps up attacks and fights rebellion rumors. Here's CBS's Kimmy McCormick. President Putin addressing the military at the Kremlin today credited them with essentially stopping a civil war. He also recognized pilots who were killed during the insurrection and observed a moment of silence. They had tried to halt the Wagner Group's advances. The Kremlin insisted today the weekend mutiny did not have any impact on Putin's leadership. In Washington, a big ruling today from the Supreme Court on elections. Here's CBS's Stephen Portnoy. The 6-3 to three ruling repudiates the idea known as the independent state legislature theory. Chief Justice John Roberts writes that state courts can step in when it comes to how, when, and where elections are held. The theory rejected by the court picked up steam among conservatives in 2020 when Donald Trump supporters said that Pennsylvania's Supreme Court crossed the line when it ruled that late arriving mail-in ballots would still be counted. Former President Trump caught on tape. <laughs> It was back in 2021 where he showed off classified material. Our legal analyst, Jessica Levinson, says it's not a good look as he heads to trial. We talk a lot about smoking guns and we use that phrase too much. But in this case, we are really looking at a very damning piece of evidence. Trump has denied mishandling any documents. Pickleball, anyone? People are losing their minds over pickleball, a combination of tennis, ping pong, and badminton. But Dr. Ariel Goldman at North Shore University Hospital warns there's been a spike in pickleball injuries. Most of them in the uh, retiree population. He says there are low back pains and strains and worse things like hip and wrist fractures that need to be treated surgically. Injuries are adding up to about $400 million a year. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.